Okay guys, to start out our cream puffs, we're going to take a half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, one teaspoon of sugar, one four teaspoon of salt, half a cup of unsalted butter, and we're going to put that over medium heat and bring it up to a boil. to a boil we're going to be lifting it off from the heat and we're going to be adding one cup of all-purpose flour and we're going to stir that and put it back onto the heat for about two or three minutes and let the flour cook a little bit and then I'll show you guys the next step And then we're going to transfer our batter into a large mixing bowl and we're going to beat it a little bit with our hand mixer just to cool our batter a little bit and then we're going to be adding four large room temperature eggs and we're going to be adding it one at a time. Once we've added all of our eggs, you're going to have a thicker batter and then we're going to be transferring our batter into a pastry bag and we're going to start piping our cream puffs. turn out with some points on top just wet your finger with some warm water and dab your finger over that point and that point should disappear and then we're going to be baking these at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes after 10 minutes without opening your oven we're going to reduce our heat to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to be baking it for 22 minutes or until golden brown Okay guys, and then once my cream puffs completely cooled, I did cut them in half and I filled them up with pastry cream and whipped cream, but I actually didn't hit record when I filled up all of these cream puffs, so I added a smaller clip of me adding um, the fillings to a smaller amount of cream puffs, but it's the same way how I did these ones. And then I just dusted them with powdered sugar. You guys can add as much powdered sugar you guys want because these are actually not that sweet. So you can add more powdered sugar or less powdered sugar. It is up to you guys. And this is just how I fill up my cream puffs. I will always add the pastry cream first and then fill it up with whipped cream the rest of the way. But you guys can always choose different fillings um you can do nutella and whipped cream a jam and whipped cream 
anything your heart desires you guys can do this just is the way i go because it is my favorite way and they just melt in your mouth they are so delicious if you guys give this recipe a, a try comment down below and let me know how you liked it and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because i really appreciate it and stay tuned because i do have the pastry cream um, recipe coming up and i will see you guys next friday with a new recipe